me anymore. somewhere safe. Hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say?
Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. Well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and even some that are more political, you know? Less supernatural. Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. is going on with this ship because I gotta be honest it feels like there's some like like evil like literal evil going on down there let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this okay the stuff I saw it's like there were these old soldiers they were bodies they were dead but then they came alive and that doesn't sound that crazy right about now I saw something this uh, uh, this old lady I mean she was Bat shit crazy and like dinosaur old. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... Let's time out, okay? This place is too fucked up to just be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like something is going on here. So what do we know for sure that we can all agree on? We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it, that's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. We gotta get off this damn ship. No shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. Casing. The gunners are firing at something. Use these if they weren't Swiss cheesed. Find a way up? Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open.
Hey, a little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. Pull you up. where I chased Gunrad before. Huh. I, I thought it looked familiar. Over here! Got a way through here. Find a radio yet? No, but there's got to be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. I'm not exactly confident about our chances of surviving. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years. As long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Ah! It's working! It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask them for help. Hey! Hey! Is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Holy shit! We got him! Uh... If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please, get here now. We need help.
Yo, guys, check it out. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I gotta be honest. I don't think I'm gonna make it down there in my shape. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. You know, my bodyguard. I can take care of myself. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. Okay, Julia. It's you and I. Bones? Everything still work? Everyone okay? We're okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Okay. We'll wait here by the radio. Here. Hey. After you. Guessing these are the lower levels of the ship. Some sort of altercation. Ten days in the brig. Wow. Must have really blown his lid to get that kind of time. I wish I could actually, you know, enjoy this. What the hell are you talking about? Well, in any other circumstance, you know, this place would be the coolest place to explore. Like, like ever. I'm gonna say no. Not at all. Says the girl who couldn't wait to dive a wreck. Shut up. Here, come check this out. Look, down there. Looks like the engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? Uh, the ladder's broken off here. I think I can just... Wait! Uh, Are you okay? Yeah, uh, all good. Just come down.
Oh, God. What's up? That, it, 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 it was... It was... Wait, wait, did you see it? Um, hello? Okay, so, I, so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so follow my thinking here. We know this ship was carrying Manchurian gold, which was actually some kind of dangerous chemical, right? And there's this, like, weird fog everywhere, all over the place. Maybe that's the Manchurian gold. And maybe it's fucking us all up, like in the head, you know? I mean, I definitely saw some crazy shit that I could have sworn was real, but maybe it wasn't. We know the crew were scared shitless of something. None of it happened. None of it was real. It was just a hallucination. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. I mean, maybe there was a connection. Maybe they made contact. It's a theory, I guess. Oh, God. All right, let's get going. was actually anchored. I wonder why. You know what I miss right now? The dry clothes? Yeah. Hey, hey! I found it! Oh, thank God! And it's working! Yeah, this is it, all right. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. Okay, let's get back upstairs. There's gotta be another way up. <laughs> we lost power, but we have it back. Can you hear me? Over! Please state your situation, over. 
We need help now. There are things on the ship that are trying to hurt us. Over. The recovery mission is being prepped. Please see what's with the vessel you're on. Over. We're on a freighter, abandoned, huge, and old. Delta's on the way. Oh, come on, work, damn it. Look at this! The rebreather! The fisherman must have brought it over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes? Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. It's just gonna slow us down. Are you crazy? Half the ship is submerged. It could be a lifesaver. No use hiding, you little foot. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deal? <laughs> Totally. I mean, these doors were meant to withstand all sorts of stuff. Okay. Okay. None of you move. None of you go all changing on me now. Turn around. Slow. Real slow. Oh. Get out of here. Please. I'm sorry, but if you're breathing, then you don't got much of a choice in the matter. You don't got a say. 
Not again! It's all gone changing on me! What? What's changing? Stay away! Stay back from the mist! What? There's no mist, man! Don't breathe it! Don't breathe the mist! Why can't we breathe the mist? What does it do? It's... life! Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive! It's inside now! Inside with us, now! Please, just calm down! Stop! Stop! It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down, now! Why would you say that? Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you breathed in the mist! It's happening. I can feel it! Come on, man. There is no mist. No, no! Wait by the radio. Why? I'm gonna check the next level. There might be some more gear down there we can use. Uh... I'm not going far. Just wait by the radio. I'm gonna hang back here as well. by the radio. Don't uh, run away. I wouldn't dream. I saw the, the, the big guy. He had the distributor cap. He had to go after him. This must have been what we just heard. Oh no, what's that? Doesn't matter. We need that distributor cap. Here! He had to have come this way.
gonna make this jump, Alex. I'll have to find another way around. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fliss. <sighs> the distributor cap. It's out of the picture. Guess it's time for a new plan. Let me see. Duke of Milan, no engine. Guess that's pretty much the end of it. Best I can figure out. We got a couple days. Maybe more if we can collect some rainwater. You know, I was hoping to die with a little more... style.
several civilians on board. I can confirm that the target is a converted military cruiser as described. Jesus, it's just a bunch of kids. I repeat, it's just a bunch of kids. understand really I mean, just how crazy it got down there I mean just how fucking out of control I guess you could say I lived my greatest nightmare I was relentlessly stalked by a beautiful woman and all I wanted to do was run the hell away <laughs> they're a bunch of rich dumb American brats they had no fucking clue what they were getting into. I should have been there. When she died. Maybe I could have done something. Maybe it could have been me. God knows it should have been. I mean, there were things down there that, you know, shouldn't have been alive, you know? The kind of things that can make you go insane. I mean, hey, I'm no prude. The lady's down, then who might have be picky, but this one. Up close, she was, um... She's not exactly getting the motor running, you know what I mean? You might even say she could melt the rubber off your tires. And not in a good way. You know, I tried to warn them not to mess with the dead. I tried. She was something else, you know. We had our moments, but... <laughs> she was special. She was the one. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. Impressive. Almost everyone survived. Almost. Things became a little intense, but Alex kept his nerve. Well done, Alex. Well done, you. And the distributor cap? Boom. Unfortunate. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, 
we will meet again. It's inevitable. Want to spare me over till another year? Want to spare me over? Want to spare me over till another year? 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 Good. Who's there? I fashioned her with my own hand. 